Miss Oliver, thank you so much for being with us. You and two other members of the Thunder Bay Police Services Board have resigned. Uh, what was behind the, the decision to leave the board? So uh, last Tuesday during our actual police service board meeting, we were notified by the tribunal through the Ontario Civilian Police Commission that they were appointing a board administrator who would ultimately have full control of the board, uh, essentially would be the sole vote member. Um, and you know, they said that it was based on uh, a preliminary investigation that determined that this board was in crisis, mm -hmm. that we were dysfunctional. And, um, and so for those reasons, you know, I had to really take a look at and examine my role and how I saw myself participating on this board. You know, when the uh, Civilian Police Commission appointed an administrator to oversee the board, they did make reference to an emergency existing within the board uh, and that recommendations from Justice Murray Sinclair's report remain unfulfilled. Uh, was this a board in crisis before you stepped aside? I don't see us actually. I did not see this board as being in crisis. We had four members in particular who were very engaged, um, worked very diligently on the recommendations, certainly from uh, Senator Sinclair's report, but also recognizing that we were working with uh, uh, the confines of a number of, of rights holders and stakeholders and having those consultation discussions, you know, certainly helped develop our strategic plan which was a huge undertaking that we, we did last year. When we look at the work that we were able to complete as a board, um, I did not see us in an emergency crisis by any stretch of the imagination. And I also think it's important to recognize that, um, you know, this board in particular also did have a board administrator assigned to us when we first became the board in 2018. Mm -hmm. He was in that role for 18 months and he was allowed to go essentially because the work on the Sinclair recommendations were underway. So at that time, you know, a little over 18 months ago, CPC was confident that this board was was doing the work that we needed to do. And so they were they relieved the administrator at that time. And then, you know, subsequently are using that as an excuse to appoint another administrator. Um, at no time did OCPC even ask for any of our minutes, agendas, our, like we have a chart that we keep um, uh, to update the ongoing status of where these recommendations are. And at no time were any of with any of that information requested. You know, there's uh, you know, a number of human rights uh, complaints have been filed. Uh, there's some, some people in the Thunder Bay area have said, you know, they want Thunder Bay Police Service dismantled. You know, what are, what's your response to, to that? So I certainly don't see the value in dismant dismantling Thunder Bay Police Service. I don't essentially see what that would accomplish. I mean, this board, when we were together, we were certainly working on the systemic racism that was identified. Um, you know, we're coming up with some policies and regulations around how to best uh, um, eradicate the systemic racism that we're seeing at this institutional level. Mm -hmm. When, um, you know, just calling for disbandment of the police service, I think is unfair. The, there are, I would say, 98% of the membership between civilian and uniformed officers are incredibly dedicated to this community. They see value in the work that they do every single day. They see value in the work that we were trying to accomplish in terms of you know, changing the culture of policing in Thunder Bay. And a lot of them were on board. And I think that you know, um, these recommendations to dismantle sort of, um, well, not sort of actually uh, infringes the, what the work that they're doing. And it, I think that um, it's, it's unfair. I think that when you look at uh, whether you bring in another police service, what changes essentially the uniform if we're not changing the institutional situation and issues. Yeah. Well, we thank you for taking the time to update us here. Thank you. Have a good night.